Wow, this is really becoming intensive, isn't it? There. And so all of this would route directly into the iron. Like that. Mm, actually, it's probably not a good idea for all of those to be iron. We should have variety packs being sent in from outside. Mm, almost out of iron here. But one thing we're also running out of is coal here. So we should have one of these be coal. This one. Uh, coal. And then the rest of these can be iron temporarily. Until we get more things like stone and copper. Mm, that should be fine. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Hmm. Can change the color. This one can be rust red for iron. No. <laughs> That's not the only thing that we'll be carrying. That would be a stupid color scheme. Hmm. No. We need another station for there, actually. Hmm. And finally, we're going to need more rails, which we can produce at our leisure. In fact, we should be manually crafting these as we conquer the new area. Mm. There. Now we can go do that immediately. Or at least get started. I think uh, routing up here would make sense. And then around this way. Mm. <laughs> yes, this is sufficient. There. We have conquered this land. Now we can just repair this quickly. And... Hmm. This deposit also won't last forever, but it will be a good start. Now, just to partition all of this. We're also going to need to route power, which is why we have the big power bulls. Mm. This is going to be a huge drain on our power supply, so we're even going to need to upgrade the power plant soon as well, because of this. No, this is almost complete. And I don't think we'll need to protect it for a while, either. Until the pollution hits here, finally. Which, since we're in the forest, probably isn't going to be a problem for a while. We also need to mine this coal. We're not going to need as much of the coal as the iron, however, which will help. 
Now for the large bulls here. Mm. These can transmit power insane distances. Mm. Now how about this uh, train stop? Mm. I think I know how, to, how I want to do the stops now, finally, the stations. So, there will be uh, the stations coming off from the main flow. Like this. And then, of course, we're going to want to have the parallel to that, which we'll need to see about later, actually. Mm. Part of this will be for waiting to receive, and then the final one will be after that. Mm. There. Now we have this separate from the rest of it. And we can put the station right here. Hmm. And now... While in the vehicle we can run the power line. Ow. Just need to make a, a couple more mm. of both types. But we should mm, finally have something prepared soon. Mm. I'm beginning to realize the idiocy of this inline station system. You know, this is much better, the branching system. Now... Ah, oh, oil. Good that we collected that in the power network as well while we're here. There. Now, that should all be producing, yes. We also need a radar there for detecting. And now we can worry about the rails themselves. Mm, starting here. This isn't as straight as I would have preferred, but that's mm, just an inevitability. 
Now about this. Hmm. I can actually fix it further up in the stream. There. That doesn't look like too much yet. Uh, one's not connected. I can fix that later. Now about the other half. Since we have two rails going everywhere at a time, that's double throughput. And since it's only moving in one direction at a time, we don't need special handling for that. Trying to keep it spaced well. Mm. Yes, like this. I knew this part would come. Uh, I think that's correct spacing, yes. And we're almost out of rails again. I can partially fix that. But now we can actually install the rails for the other half now, finally. And then we can finish the station. And then we're also going to need turners just outside of the station, I think. Oh wait, no, we don't. Mm. I think we could technically make an optional one. I'm going to mine these for the stone to make more rails temporarily until we get back. And there. Ran out of steel. And that's a good limitation to have. There. Hmm. I'm going to want to make this further upstream, here. Yes, so now it can return. Which is perfect. Although we don't want collisions here, so we should have some other system here. And we want something identical on the other side. There. This is now correct. going in this way and out this way. Hmm. Need to be careful of how this is laid out. Hmm. 
This will need to be further out. To here. There. So now, nothing can enter this junction except for one at a time. Hmm. For the radar, we can install that here. I'm going to just wipe this up uh, really quickly to prevent it from becoming a problem later. Now, about this part. Oh, uh, I need to resupply. We can finish this part really quickly first. I don't think we need to refuel here. This can be a peripheral station instead of uh, a primary station. to go back to resupply and then return. Mm. Just noticed how long it's been. Over an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. mm. I go to an hour and three quarters because of this part. I don't want to forget. Don't need, don't need a refuel yet. In fact, I can just store that there. Mm. And now for this mm, component. So you're gonna need both of those. And a lot of iron as well. Mm. And copper resupply. And steel. There. Hmm. Yeah, that looks sufficient. We're going to need overall steel production eventually because this is ridiculous. Actually, it's the iron production that's the most. Hmm. I see. I'm going to stop here so that I don't stretch it on insanely far. Mm. 